lecture five, the hardest lecture I get. The point of this supplement is to show you how class switching works in the heavy chain gene. And what I'm going to do is pull out from my owl of many DNA sequences a rearranged heavy chain gene. So if you look at this, <coughs> you can see that what has happened is that we have already rearranged the variable region. So I'm going to put that up here just to remind you. for the variable region, the variable domain of the heavy chain. The other domains are coded for by the rest of the information represented in this yarn. So if you look in very closely, you can see that we have the leader here. There'll be a promoter in front of the leader that's activated. There may or may not be more upstream variable regions. We have the variable, the D and the J, joined together. And at the end of the J, there is going to be a splicing sequence. We will also have a splicing sequence. At the beginning of each of these constant domain coding regions. Now, in this case, then, the RNA polymerase will bind to the promoter, will transcribe down through this, and will hit the first. termination sequence here, and you'll copy a message. And then you can splice in either the M or the D. Okay? But now, supposing you're ready to class switch. That is, you're ready to make an antibody that is more attuned to the particular problems that, that you're having with a particular infection. What you want to do is get something from the other regions of this. And to do that, you need to cut out the M and the D and anything else in between them and the variable region. So I'm going to take this variable region, and I'm going to take this part, and I'm going to just move it over for now. So let's just move this over here. Because what we're going to be looking at is this point the 
this now here. Notice, well, I should stretch this a little bit. We still have a splice side here and a splice side here, but we've taken out this piece of DNA and we're going to recycle it somewhere. Okay? So now, let's say your uh, infection begins to decline and what you're going to need is a less inflammatory form of antibody. You might then cut out some more regions. You'll form another loop. You will cut here. And you will put these guys together. Sort of holding pattern than something that will not 